Hi, welcome to another Type with me. This week I'm gonna talk about Solid.js. Yeah, what is Solid.js? You will know after this video. So Solid is a reactive JavaScript framework. Solid is a declarative JavaScript framework or library for creating user interfaces. Yay, another framework to create user interfaces. But it does not use a virtual DOM. What? Not a virtual DOM? Instead, it opts to compile its templates down to real DOM nodes and wrap updates in fine-grained reactions. And apparently, they are busy to prepare a website launch, so it's quite new, right? So I'm very excited to show it to you. When we go to GitHub, you will see that yesterday is the last commit that he did. So, um, all right, it, the, the, the first, I guess the first uh, launch on GitHub was nine months ago. So, well, it's already a while, right? But it, it, it's also normal, uh, you, you know, uh, frameworks go and, 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 and and uh, new ones will pop up. So you have React, Angular, and of course, Vue. Uh, Svelte is, is another one. And now we have also Solid. So I just want to see how uh, you can create an awesome application with it. How I how you can compare it because I see a lot of uh, similarities when, when, when you are familiar with uh, writing React code. So let's jump into this and see how we can write a solid.js web application. So apparently it has an MP in it uh, thing, so you can very easily start with templates of solid. And of course we are uh, we are doing a lot of uh, TypeScript uh, related stuff. So also here it has a TypeScript uh, starter. So we're gonna look into that, right? I think it's normal. A lot of you guys are also, I guess, fans of uh, TypeScript. So of course, when we are looking into a new framework, we do it like this. I'm really excited. I'm very excited about it. It's now extracting everything. I'm curious what or how the the template of solid.js will look like with TypeScript. See that it now also installs at types. And it's now fetching a lot of things for us. So I think we already can take a look into. Yeah, I thought we could already take a look into this folder, but apparently not a lot of things are already there. It's still fetching a lot. I don't know. If this takes a while, we are just going to skip this over and go further when everything is downloaded for you, right? All right, let's do that. See you in a while. All right. All right, so everything has been installed now. So the next thing that we can do is look into uh, the, the project structure, right? So uh, when we look into type with me uh, project, you'll see that we have a public where we have our favicon, our index.html and our manifest, right? And then when we are gonna take a look into our source, you will see that we have here app.tsx. Like I said before, a lot of things are the same like in React.js, but then of course with other mechanisms separate, right? So you will see that he is using a lot of these similar things like render and then document.get element by deed root and so on. All right, I'm gonna take a look here. You will see that we have some 
scripts word. And of course, when we want to start our application, we can start with scripts. And, and there we can say, okay, we first of all, I need to go to the type void me folder, right? Uh, and then I'm going to clear it. Right, so now we can do yarn start, right? And he is going to start the sweat script to start. Apparently I have already something on port 3000, so I'm going to choose 4000 here. But it's not how I want to do this. So I say, okay, yes, I want to do that. And then apparently he is choosing something else, right? So he's choosing uh, this board, and then of course it's now starting it up. And there we go. Or oh, sorry, solid application is there with some nice animation, right? So the first thing that I want to do is to create here something in like, for example, a new uh, counter dot tsx, right? And here I want to do something like export function. My function name needs to be counter, right? So counter. And of course, I just need to return here some JSX. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to copy paste it a little bit and put something in there. So here I'm going to put. Counter, counter, I'm gonna save this. And then, of course, here I wanna use something like counter. So I'm gonna do this counter, right? I'm gonna see. Force counter. So we're going to import it, save this, right? And normally now we should see here, I'm going to see counter me in, right? We need to see uh, um, this counter me in, right? And here we are, we have counter me in. So that's great, but like I said before, a lot of similarities with React, right? So also here we have uh, this kind of similarity. And, and it, it, when you wanna wanna work with Solid, uh, you will see when you are familiar with React, it's very easy to jump into Solid and do some things with that. Two important things to know is that Solid has um, reactive uh, reactive. Um, yeah, functions, behaviors that, that you need to know about. And that's one is state and the other one is signals. And first of all, we're going to use signals and signals are uh, when you want to use very small atomic uh, updates onto your components, um, immutable um, atomic uh, primitives, right? So that's when you want to use that, and that's signals. So if you want to use signals, I'm going to use it right here. You'll see that we have create signals and on cleanup. On cleanup is a method that will be called when your component is going to be cleaned up and it's going to be removed from the page or from your application, right? When I refresh this now, see that we have here count and set count and when you um look into this you will see that it looks a lot like use state within react.js right so 
I'm going to save this. We'll see we have here count and set count. Then we have an interval that every second it will go up, right? And when we clean our, app, our components, it will clear our interval, right? This is how it looks like within our application now. You have here a counter, right? It increases every every yeah every second. Cool. So now I want to show you a little bit the the, the other one that was left out, and that's the state, right? So here I'm gonna put a new file. I'm gonna put here something like persona six, right? And then of course I need to do something like export function persona. All right. And then I'm gonna copy the paste. A little bit of the new code here and normally it should take create state from the module solid.js and he is doing that right so that's already great So here I could do something like so that's nice, right? So now we have this already. So what it does is he will create a state, and this is just a deeply uh, created object, right? Uh, within it. So when you have um, objects, also objects that can uh, change because of, of of the state itself. Well, then, or of the the reactiveness of it, right? Then you need to use uh, create state there instead of uh, create signal. But if you just have one simple atomic thing, it's better to use create signal because that will be uh, much better within the performance of that application. And that's how I interpret it, right? So. Um, that's how I how, how I see things. Okay, so let's now use this one within app.tsx. So here I'm gonna put persona. I really love uh, visual code here. All right, <laughs> you already put it in there, so that's great. I save it and. I'm just gonna go back. So here we have then our big uh, state object, with, which is user, and user has two properties: first name and last name, and also a computed uh, property uh, called full name, which is just um, first name together with last name, right? And when we click on our on our diff, we will uh, fulfill and we will set the state with some values in it, right? I think that's really awesome. So when we do set state, we will have a user a last name, and we will do something within it. So let's see what he will will do, and then and come back to this again, right? So here we have our application. When I click on John Smith. You will see that we have transmit and you will put an explanation mark on top of it. So um, when we go back to set uh, state, you will see that we will have uh, first name, last name, and then um, you will see that we will have a callback function, which has value, value, plus, and then uh, the signal at the end. Well, that's basically what it does, right? So that's, that, that's really cool in my opinion. 
So that's it. It's, it's, it's really cool. Just play around with it. Uh, I really enjoyed it to just play around with it. Uh, frameworks will come and go. So check it out. Thank you very much. Bye.